Have you, ever, have you ever wanted to visit a city, but you can logically, you cannot visit a city? Well, this is a city that I got for myself. Well, this is not any ordinary city. This is Lego Architecture set number, uh, set number two, uh, 21034. This is, happens to be Lego Architecture London Skyline or Great Britain. Great Britain, like I say. And this happens to be a um, Lego set right here, designed by Lego. And it's my very first architecture set. And London is a city that I like just because it's a beautiful uh, town. And I am Saj the Boss, in case you're wondering who, who the guy behind the camera is. And this set over here has 468 pieces, Lego architecture, one little mini uh, micro uh, scale figure. And you got this beautiful um, legalese on the side of it, a beautiful slick box, reminds me a lot of Loot Crate. And then the side, it says Lego Architecture, and it says London, Great Britain. And standing at, on the River Times, London is a skyline reflects both cities and the vast, colorful past and continued ambition to embrace bold modern architectural uh, statements. And this set right here includes the National Gallery, Nelson's Column, Big Ben, and the London Eye and London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> so we got all of these little cool little details for the set. Personal, well. Personally, I don't know anything about all of these places. So as I build the set, I'm gonna learn even more about London's architecture, culture, and history as we dive, uh, uh, dive forward with the set. I'm only familiar wise with the London Bridge and Big Ben. I don't know the National Gallery or uh, Nelson's Column or the London Eye. So those are kind of like new things for me as I build. So as always, let's unbox this and uh, see what's inside this. Okay, box. guys, uh, let's go uh, unbox London. I got the tape off the box right here. I didn't use a box cutter tonight just because it's simple. Oh, it says enjoy building, enjoy building, uh, enjoy the uh, building uh, experience on the top of the little corner. It says uh, enjoy building, enjoy, enjoy your building experience. So thank you, Lego. It's almost opened up like a loot crate. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The boxes are right here. So we don't have number bags. We just have a big bag over here for parts right here. So we have a big part bag. We have a little part bag. We have another part bag. And then we have three of the uh, pieces of the build, the London Eye, looking really nice. And then we got a smaller bag of pieces. And then we got what in the world is this? Oh, a new packaging for Lego. Okay, this is a little bit of what the new packaging looks like. Which it's really cool to have an insert. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah, this is a plastic free little insert right here. Because it's an older model. So you just throw that away. Uh, we got more pieces for the London Eye. And then we do got, ladies and gentlemen, a big piece um, for a London Eye too. And then we have this beautiful instruction booklet for London. So it's very collector friendly. <laughs> well, I'm gonna build this Lego set. And I don't know if you can see me on camera just putting pieces on together like this. I don't think you can't really see that on camera. So I'm gonna build this off camera and I will come right back when I showcase my flight to London. And I'll be right back. So I'm gonna fly to London by building it and I'm learning the history as we go on. It's my very first architecture set and I just cannot wait. So thank you guys. Um, thank you guys for the first part of this video and stay tuned as I progress. So see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I'm off on my very first tour of London and today we're learning about the Tower Bridge. And yesterday, before I went to bed, I had to put 40 little Lego plates all over the space. And yeah, I don't wanna spoil anything until I'm done, but so far, so let's continue building up, uh, reconnecting to one of my favorite TLC shows, Little People Big World. But I came across this beautiful building technique as we come across this build. And it just, the marbles right here of how like, the bridge handles actually works. Just really cool. Got a showpiece. piece. The tower bridge is complete here on this beautiful morning. Wow. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, the Ferris wheel is complete. The London Eye 
This is a really nice thing. It's a gift for the two, uh, for New Year's. It's all by the Millennium of London. And this is a really cool little build. Wow, we're taking a closer look at London itself. I just want to show you, uh, as you build, there's a little bit of fun facts as you build London in each little structure right here. And I do have some fun facts to share with you as we talk about each structure and this architecture set. And also on the very back uh, page of the instruction manual, you will have this beautiful shot of London um, right here, which is a, just a gorgeous shot of the double-deckered bus going heading to Big Ben during sundown and then all the cars and the traffic and then the road right here. It just really describes a perfect day in London. It's just awesome. And then as we go forward to the set, this is just a beautiful, beautiful Lego set that Lego has created. There is so many things I absolutely adore with each building technique on the set. Starting off with the London Eye, this is actually a gift for the Millennium and it is used to, um, to showcase kind of like the highlights of the, of the city of how beautiful the city is. So you can see all the different like landmarks and different really cool iconic things you won't be able to see from the ground. You can see from above. So you can see fucking the palace and all kinds of really cool things. And it, it is built on the river too and it's closed during New Year's because of the fireworks. And it's just a really cool thing. It actually kind of rotates just a hair and then this can rotate just a little bit as well. So it's really cool how that thing can move around. And then around. we have the Tower Bridge. This happens to be, or the London, most people call it the London Bridge, it's famously known for the, the nursery rhyme, London Bridge is falling down. There are two different bridges in London. This is the Tower Bridge, which is the most iconic landmark. It's actually a Lego set, well, believe it or not, it's actually a bigger model of this from Lego that was released in like 2006, 2008. But this is just an amazing model because it has uh, this little function where the little drawbridge can raise and close. And it's also open for a little public uh, walkway as well, the walk across the bridge. And there's a little bit of a glass view here. And each side of it has the suspension cables coming on each side here, which is really nice. And it's got this nice clear water that's used about like 40 little tile pieces right here. And there's a lot of snot uh, techniques. And, it's a really, it was a really unique build. I think I just love the colors, the blue, it just really pops. And there's a little sailboat going along the way. So I think it's just really pretty because I love the boats, I love the water, and it just really transcribes my love about London. I told you guys, I'm a huge fan of the rich history of London. And we also have Big Ben. This happens to be um, the second largest clock tower in the world. The biggest one happens to, I've took the record since 2012, the Saudi Arabia clock tower. It's using this too. And the instruction manual, it says is engraved with uh, Victoria uh, help us. And there's so many like staircases and different things and it, it chimes every hour. And I learned that London does follow daylight savings time. So if you're ever in the area, you hear this big bell um, that plays uh, Queen Victoria, something song like that. I just love how the tower just really indicates and it really pops. It really reminds me a lot of like how you build the little Harry Potter sets. This is some of the pieces they chose. It just a really cool building at the little trees on the bottom here on the little sidewalk. Over here we do have Nash, uh, Nelson's uh, landmark, um, Nelson's column. Nelson's column, it's just a amazing, um, amazing, amazing little build. Actually, I actually had the minifigure on backwards, but it does really uh, get the trick here. It, it's just a awesome little thing about the war hero that was served the country and became really famous. It's cool. Let me also a micro skill minifigure because it actually reminds me uh, of the Dundee in the office set. And this this is the National Gallery and it has a, a little bit of water, everything like this. And there's also some lines that do protect it, uh, the uh, statue uh, on the ground below. And I also saw a guy scale it in my, like 1980s, something like that. The ladders look sketchy. Oh my goodness. And then over here, this is a home to a lot of beautiful paintings. And I followed from this artist YouTuber who told us a lot about um, this one particular um, artist, I think his name was Paul or something, and his work was amazing. And he has this one about like dawn, dusk, and evening and night, and I thought those are just really beautiful portraits describing like, the types of the, of the day that, where the sun is like shining and kind of fading throughout there. And also is home to, uh, uh, what's his face? One of my favorite artists of all time, Vincent Van Gogh. It has one of his paintings in here, and also a uh, Lila. A water lily painting as well. So very cool, home to a lot of art. And also a lot of artists do come here for inspiration to paint. And there's a painting store next door to the actual 
art museum. And because London right here is all smooth, then the back, it just shows you the backside of London. Yeah, it's the backside of water, but the backside of London. Nothing really special in the back. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, set number 21034, uh, 468 piece London architecture set. And this really transcribes the beauty and of London. So there's always a lot of beauty and cruelty in the world, but the world is cruel, but beautiful, Mikasa. So as always, I'm Sasha Boss, and stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. See ya, bye-bye.